All right, guys, what's going on? Nick from Subi Mods here, and today we are in Thompson, Connecticut at Lock City Drifts Clinic. You're coming out here to learn. You want to hone your skills. If you've been drifting before, if it's your first time, you just bought a BRZ or some rear wheel drive application and you want to get out and learn, this is how you do it. You do it right here at the clinic. My name is Michael. I am an instructor here. Uh, where are the rest of my instructors? Ben. Jordan. God bless. Zach. How's it going? And Rob. We're gonna start off some very elementary routines just to get people warmed up. And then we're gonna break off and probably into two sections because I, I know we have various skill levels here. And ideally by the end of the day, we have a mini layout that everybody's attempting and, and getting it done. All right, so right now they just did the first demo. So now we're gonna take it on a little bit tighter of a uh, little bit tighter of a course, starting with uh, wide donuts around four cones. I think we're gonna go left first, right after that, and then we'll end up bringing it back in to doing figure eight. So this car should be pretty well suited for it. It was slide nice originally, so it's got a good balance. So I think we'll do all right, um, but we'll see. So a little more difficult on that one. Obviously, there's there's a lot that goes into it. So for our viewers who haven't ever gotten in a car and really come out and done anything like this, you know, the car naturally with traction control off, you can throttle, you can break it free with throttle, right? And you can keep it there, which is what you saw when we were just doing the donuts, right? A little bit of clutch kick just to get it out. But after that, it's all throttle modulation. When you go to that figure eight, you have a lot slower of that transition where the car's slowing, you're having to let it auto rotate and that kind of required a little bit more of the clutch. So like you'll see out here with Lock City, they're really focused on tables, right? So we wanna get you to be able to do X, then Y, then Z, right? So it's a natural progression and everything builds on itself. So we're gonna take it back out. We're gonna do another one get the feeling for it and then uh, hopefully they'll uh, they'll keep you know moving us through and we'll get to show you guys a little bit more what the car can do <laughs> Oh. Uh -huh. 
finished kind of uh, Lock City's initial intro to what we're about. Well, their intro into drifting, right? So we've done, you know, uh, donuts, we've done the figure eights, we've done some other stuff. Now they're gonna open it up, give it a little bit of a layout. And this is where kind of all those building blocks that we talked about, right? Um, clutch kicking, you know, auto rotating, all those kind of topics come into play here because the goal really is, is to keep the car engaged, keep it moving, keep it sideways all the way through this course. So we'll see how it goes. Car feels good. Give yourself room to work. The reason why he's having you stay here is because when you enter, the car is going to want to go that way, right? Because that's the way we're going. If you start over here, right on the, you know, right on the barrier, where are you going to go? Into the barrier. So now you're going to have to straighten out. You're going to have to lay off the throttle. You want to be as smooth as possible. You don't want to have to make all kinds of adjustments if you don't have to. actually amazing like second gear it's stable it the throttle response is like amazing I mean it breaks free it can stay there it's not all over the place there's a little bit of body roll obviously stock suspension but overall this car is so impressive I mean it, it for me to have almost no skill and come out here and be able to just hold it constantly and have it do the same it's the car's predictable I'm not worrying about where it is. The steering response compared to the older BRZs is actually a lot better as well. And the low end torque definitely helps. Nick from Subi Mods and I have with me Mike from Lock City Drift. So Mike is an instructor here. He puts on grassroots drift events and yep. then also running the, the clinic, yep. which is what we're, did, what we did today. Yep. Um, so one of the things we wanted to kind of talk about and bring your input in on was like, obviously you have a older BRZ yep. or well, it's a BRZ. We'll call it a BRZ. It's an yeah. FRS, but yeah. Um, how well do you think it? How easy is it to get these cars out on a day like today and, and kind of get out there? Based off my experience, now mine's modified a little bit, uh, but I've seen so many people driving them. It is the best newer chassis to start with. Uh, besides the readily available parts and all of that, they handle well classic saying I, I like to say on an underpowered car it's like hitting a marble with a broomstick yeah um so you take that mindset it's gonna teach you to enter faster actually drift into the corner and not power slide out of it because you actually have to learn that technique of using the throttle and the steering input to keep maintain the drift yes yeah. 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 yeah and i mean this car what did we do we have uh rims tires and a cat back so this thing is bone stock and it comes out here and it does I mean, I'm not experienced by any means, but we can leave here today connecting. If you saw the footage, right, of like the first couple and then warming up and getting into it, it I, I think it it sells itself. So what our goal too is, is for you guys is we're going to be coming back out here. We got about what five of these on the docket this year to do. Yep. Um, so we're going to be staging it up. So right now this car is bone stock. We're feeling a little bit of body roll, not a ton actually, yeah. but so we'll probably start with some coilovers, some sway bars, maybe something in and out, right? Not necessarily. Uh, coilovers for sure. Uh, a seat, right? We're gonna get a seat. Make sure your, your body's focused on sitting in the car. Yep. Uh, and then. Yeah, uh, we talked about how uncomfortable it is to move. 
yep. in a car, especially you're losing your grip and your body, your brain's more focused on keeping your body still instead of paying attention to where you got to, what you're focused on and, yep. and actually drifting. Yep. Uh, so coil over seat. Uh, Obviously safety, yep. right? You got to come out here with your helmet. You got to come out with a fire extinguisher. You got to be, you yep. know, yep. you got to be safe, right? You know, these are expensive cars and you know, if you want to mitigate a problem, if it can happen. So obviously for anyone who doesn't know just a little bit about what we did today. So this is Mike's clinic. He basically at Lock City comes out here for, uh, it's usually on a Thursday or Friday, right? Thursday, Thursday Friday, yeah. Yeah, but some Sundays. Some Sundays, but we're here basically and normally this skid pad and this paddock are full. Yeah. Like yeah, it's, yeah. it's packed to the brim. So today gives you a chance to come out and not sit in line as much, yeah. right? Not wait to do your runs, but also get one-on-one -on -one feedback from instructors, which it's hard to do. Yep. on a no, yeah, normal yeah. event day. So again, anyone who's interested, lockcitydrift.com, they can sign up for the normal events, yep. which are just, I bet you probably got about what, 10 or 12 of those this 12, year, yeah. right? And then if the clinics interest you and you want to come out here and get that one-on-one -on -one experience, you can book that as well. Yeah, the contact so, information is on there, the email, and we'll go from there. We'll go from there and get it done. Well, thank you again. We'll be back the next time, maybe. It'll look a little better. Yeah. A little, little better. Yeah. Less rubber on the side there. That was a little. <laughs> <Getting> <laughs> we'll, the tires. we'll buff that out. Yeah. So again, though, thank you guys for putting it on. We appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Thank you.